Hi guys and welcome to your tarot love messages. In today's reading we're going to take a look and see who does the universe want you to end up with. Okay, um, there's also going to be a part two to this reading and in part two of the reading we're going to continue on with the messages and explore the messages in a little bit more detail. Part two is going to be made available via the extension link below. For those of you that are interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video as well. Okay, this person um, is coming across as someone who's a little bit older than yourself. So it, feel, it appears as though there is an age gap. I just want to pull a few more cards to crown the reading. Okay, so someone who is, I feel like, uh, someone older than you. Okay, there's a bit of an age gap here, um, but I feel like this person has very much a youthful appearance. So they do seem younger. They look younger than they actually are. Okay, so someone with the um, with a youthful like appearance, a very playful type of energy, um, a very playful, charismatic. This individual is very personable. Someone very charming. Um, I'm picking up a lot of athleticism in this person's energy so um, maybe this person has played professional sports in the past um, or maybe they're a professional sports player or someone who maybe had goals or aspirations to be uh, to become one um, I do get yeah a lot of athleticism someone who's very fit someone who's in shape someone who takes uh, very good care of themselves like their physical appearance their uh, mental health, their physical health, their emotional health as well. This person is very wise, someone very intellectual. So you are going to have this, um, I feel like there's a very strong mental compatibility between you and this individual. Conversations will never be dull. Um, conversations will always be stimulating, challenging. Um, a very strong emotional connection with this uh, individual as well. I feel like this is someone who they don't easily or readily open up their emotions to others. I feel like this isn't someone who it's not that they well they could be they could be a little bit guarded they could be a little bit emotionally reserved. It takes them a while to open themselves up but when they do uh, this is someone who will want to let you in who will want to show you a very vulnerable a very sensitive a very fragile side to them this is someone that you're going to be very um you're going to be very you'll develop a very close bond with this person i'm seeing that you're very intricately sorry intricately connected with this person um it could be love at first sight for you and this individual um but for others it, it'll be just this gut feeling that you will get when you meet this person or once you get to know them um and it'll for some of you it'll be the very onset of your relationship your connection is going to deepen the more you spend time together and the more you uh, show each other your vulnerable side okay and for some of you I feel like one day it's just going maybe you already know this person maybe this person you know is already in your life and is playing a very active role in your life but one day it'll just hit you that this is the person that you love so much and on so many levels and this is the person that you're meant to be with 
Um, this is someone whom you're going to share. You're going to share each other's dark secrets. They're going to confide in you. You're going to confide in them as well. Um, the both of you are going to build a level of trust with each other and I'm seeing it, it's going to be at its deepest level. You're going to be completely comfortable opening up to them and they will too. Just remember, not right away, but in time. This is someone who, um, this person is coming up like 95 or 99 percent as them being the one. Um, I just want to, I just want for some of you, I just don't want you to be scared off by the fact that at first, you know, they're not going to be an open book or they will come across as someone who's a little bit emotionally reserved. This is someone who's going to want to share everything with you, including their life and their deepest, darkest secrets. But it's just going to take a while for them to open up to you. Um, you'll definitely get each other. The two of you will, you know, you'll have, it's almost like you'll have this own language that the both of you will speak to one another. You're so in tune with each other's needs that you'll figure what each other wants and needs, maybe without even uttering a word to one another. Um, this is someone who's going to, this person's going to be your biggest emotional support system. This person's going to offer you the helping hand, the listening ear. They're going to be, you know, that calming touch that you need. You're going to meet this individual at the right time in your life, okay? It's like you're going to be there at the right time, at the right place. Um, this is someone who I feel like you're going to feel very understood and acknowledged by each other. Speaking of meeting them, there's going to be this instant recognition. It's like um, the, the universe is going to give you some telltale signs. But I also feel like there's going to be this instant recognition, the sense of familiarity. Like you've known each other for for, you know your whole lifetime or there's just something so familiar about this person like you, it's like even upon your first meeting it, it'll be this strange you'll get this and for a lot of you'll get this strange intuitive associations that it's almost like you recognize them you you might not be sure from where but it's just this instant recognition um the both of you are going to like i'm seeing that you're laughing at the same thing so very playful very um, youthful kind of energy they see your energies play very well with each other and I see that you know your laugh it's like you're finding humor in even the most um, like unfortunate situations um, you both laugh at the same things um, you both it, it's the both of you will give each other happiness that you will feel deep inside your bones um, when you love being around each other, you love spending time together. Um, see, you'll have, you'll have the both of you will have what each other wants and needs to like to make them feel special, to make them smile, and you know that take that as a good sign, as a like go to signal that you know this is your person, this is your one, this is the person that you're meant to build a life together. Um, you will fight, okay, um, and I feel like that's normal. Um, no relationship is immune to fighting arguments or disagreements, right? So, yeah, you will fight, but you will fight well. What does that mean? Um, I feel like you'll eventually be able to talk things through, okay? Even if you disagree, the both of you will be able to come together, talk through conflict, try and reach like a positive resolution after every argument. Um, I'm also seeing like the, like the both of you conversation like you're so open and transparent with one another that it's really good that you're both open to hearing constructive feedback from each other okay and I feel like um, you know what transpires what transpires during and after a fight I feel like is the true test of a relationship so you know as we've spoke about no relationship is immune to arguing or fighting but it's like what happens after the fight or the argument is a true testament to the relationship. Um, you'll definitely have this undeniable chemistry or this attraction with one another. You know, it's you'll be able to look at each other and hold a gaze without feeling necessarily awkward or anything like that. You're definitely drawn to each other and I feel like the connection will definitely be overflowing here with chemistry, which is a good thing. Um, it's a type of attraction that's going to be hard to exist, which is, again, an evergreen sign that, you know, this is your person, this is 
um, the one. I'm also seeing that for some of you, okay, some of you, not all, but for some of you, I feel like you are going to go to, it's not that you don't trust your feelings, okay, or it's not that you don't trust your intuition, but some of you are going to find a psychic that you trust, or perhaps even a tarot reader, a tarot reader, a psychic, someone that you trust, um, that you and it's important that you do trust this person or you do trust their energy, guys. This is this is important. Um, you're going to go to this person for confirmation. Just And it's like you want to confirm, um, you, you know, you want them to give their unique insight into your relationship because you want confirmation that this person is the one. Because for some of you, this person has already shown up in your life and you have a very good idea of who this person is, right? For others of you, although you have yet to cross paths with this individual, um, you will, I feel like for a lot of you, you will go uh, and see like a, a genuine psychic, um, psychic or a medium, a tarot reader that's going to confirm that the both of you are destined and you're, meet, and you're going to be together. Um, also, this person is, is one who's going to make you feel very safe, very protected, um, someone who's going to want to be the, protect, the protector and the provider. Uh, this is someone who I feel like he or she is their authentic self. Um, it's not that they're hiding anything from you, but it's just that, and they don't need to change anything because I feel like they're the most authentic version of themselves. But I feel like the more and more that they'll open up to you, the more and more that you will see, you know, who this person is. You'll genuinely have a great time with one another from what I can see. Um, you know, you'll genuinely connect. Um, there's this childlike innocence about this person. It's almost like the both of you, when you spend time with one another, you're in amazement at the little things in life and everything else sort of in between. Um, going back to the whole fighting and disagreeing thing, you, opposites attract. Um, and this person, you know, they don't have to be your mirror image. Although you guys have a lot of similarities, you will have some differences, okay? And you will disagree, but you're going to do it respectfully. Um, again, you know, there'll be a clash of opinions. Of course there will, but I feel like you're both willing to explore each other's aspects of... You're both willing to explore, like, each other's aspects of their personality. So... You will disagree with each other, but you're going to be fine with it, okay? You're not going to make the other person feel as though, you know, they're wrong in their belief and in their um, attitude. You're going to value each other's perspectives, no matter how different they are. Speaking of values, you will have the very same values, okay? Um, it's like the both of you might, you know, have interest in having children, um, or the both of you might not have an interest in having children, but instead traveling the world for the rest of your lives or building, I don't know, building a company or building a business of your own. So it's shared values, shared goals. Um, yes, yeah, so many interests. Uh, so, you know, people that are destined for you, romantic or friendship or otherwise, they typically are in sync. Okay. And I feel like there's, there's definitely a lot of same interests that the two of you share that are going to consume you like for example you know the love of film or the love of theater the love of traveling here or the same passion for sports hobbies like gardening or playing instruments or equipments or you know peanut butter jelly sandwiches it's just the same um it's just the same interests here this is someone who's going to lift you up as well okay someone who i feel like you know they're going to lift you up. They're going to be your biggest supporter. Um, someone is going to cheer you on and is going to want to see you do the best. And um, see, this person and this connection is going to lead you in an ultimately new direction. So make sure, make sure that you don't rush into and jump into just any relationship or any mediocre relationship. Wait for this person, okay? Wait for the one. Um, because you're going to reach new personal growth as well with this individual new personal growth and new personal development as well um, and i feel like this person is going to give you a lot of happiness here that is going to see you reach new heights you're going to want to be better do better and you know you're going to make them feel the same way as well you're always going to be there for each other this person is always going to be there for you as well um you don't, sometimes you don't even have to call or even tell them that something's wrong they'll just instantly know 
Um, yeah, I feel like even if you're someone who is emotionally reserved or closed off, you're definitely going to become vulnerable and share a lot of things with this person because you're going to reach a point in this relationship where there's going to be no more walls, no more secrets, no more boundaries, okay? Um, and you guys can just talk about everything and anything in between without the fear of judgment or the fear of being misunderstood. Um, so definitely, I feel like I see someone dropping their walls their walls and their guard down. And it's, it's hard to do for this individual, but this person will make you feel very safe. A lot of respect. Your love is so strong that you're going to be respecting each other's opinions and beliefs. Um, a huge amount of trust and respect that I'm seeing the both of you have for each other. A lot of physical attraction. The both of you won't be able to keep your hands off each other. I'm also seeing a lot of exploring. You're going to be doing a lot of exploring together. Um, so it might be, you know, you're willing to learn and experiment new um new things with your partner or you could be willing to travel the world with them uh enrolling or taking classes volunteer volunteering um activities and you know what on the flip side of the coin you'll also be just as comfortable doing nothing with this person uh also families okay your family is going to be blend blending very well with theirs like there's an energy of intertwining here so that's beautiful because um, sometimes you know having families get on with each other it can be very tough to deal with right but i'm seeing that there's such a mutual respect all around that the both of you like your person your person's family and your family are both tolerant and respect of, of each other no matter how dysfunctional that um you know the families may be here um what else well there's a lot more to go into detail here um i will cover more in part two of the reading but the other thing that i want to mention is that i feel like there's such a closeness i began the reading by saying you guys are so intricately connected that you're going to be sharing each other's sentence like you're going to understand each other so well that you'll know what the other is thinking without necessarily them saying it um it also feels like there's this magical remember how i said that there's going to be this instant recognition of you meeting each other okay there's going to be this magical meeting and i say it's magical because when you meet this person they're going to be on the same white wavelength right after all you've vibrationally attracted each other and it's like for the first time in a long time or for the first time ever for some of you you'll finally feel seen or you'll finally feel understood for the person who you you know for the person who you are um there are times that i feel like the both of you might be apart or maybe um this person is someone who's just from time to time is going to want to spend a little bit more time on your own on their own or maybe this is you but don't don't fear okay don't think that that's going to push you further away in fact it's going to make your relationship even stronger because you know the both of you are probably going you're going to miss each other even more the both of you are also going to do whatever it takes okay to uh move forward in this relationship so if there is any arguments disagreements fighting you're bouncing back from a downfall okay you're bouncing back and you're strengthening strengthening the relationship you're surviving challenges you're sorting out your differences here wow congratulations because this person here this is your soulmate this is your this is the person that you're meant to be with you know this is the person that you're destined for um okay guys in part two of the reading we want to get a little bit more about this person maybe how you might meet them uh maybe more about their physical description um height physical description a little bit more about their background um, and just see what else the cards have to say right so follow me to part two of the reading which is made available via the extension link below now if you want me to continue on to this uh continue on from this reading uh please feel free to uh, reach out for a personal reading and my email address is also going to be provided.
just below the video otherwise guys thank you so much for your time your energy and your attention it is greatly appreciated bye for now